Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good to see everybody. How are you? As always, all good. Hey, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. That's very good. Yes. All right. Your day was pretty good? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad to yes, hear teacher, that. This day all was good. Hmm. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. I really am. Good, good. Okay. Um, how was your day, Jose Carlos? Hi, good evening. Hi, good well, evening. my <laughs> my day was was fancy. I was in a meeting the whole day. Uh, oh. we were talking about uh, we were talking about international affairs and something like that. And we were we have been studying a little bit about the digital United States dollar. Uh -huh. There is a there is one company or one part of the United States government mm -hmm. that is launched this coin. Its name is US Mind. US the, Mind. Is, yes, US Mind oh. with T. Yes. That's supposed mm -hmm. that it's gonna be the dollar but in digital as a, a little bit similar about crypto, but it's not cryptos. And that one is protected by the by the Congress of the United States and the government from the United States. They are trying to launch this coin for the future. Yeah. So I was in a meeting that we were talking about that that topic. Wow. I have, I have been receiving for for conference about that one. Wow. Okay. I I didn't know that. So this is something completely new. Yeah, what is the future? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we I, have to uh, adaptability to that one. Yes, I I completely agree. I I think that definitely the future of uh currency is going going to be um everything digital. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I I agree with that. Um, yeah. I don't. I honestly don't have very much. Um, knowledge about those that topic but I agree that that is something that we need to start getting into because it is it is the future yeah and, and also because the dollar is our official currency right so right. in the future the the U.S. mine is como le está protegido is protected by the United States dollar is the same, but it's in digital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, I. That's that's going to be a very interesting topic to get into. So, um, you're receiving training on that. Uh, to be honest, uh, I don't remember as well if I told you, but I work for the government and so I work in the taxes department. And so usually we were uh, in different conference. Our director is a very visionary person mm -hmm. and he is open to the world. We have we have a, a hermandad, brotherhood, I don't know how mm -hmm. you say that yeah. word. With another cities around the world in the United States and in another city from Europe. And so for that reason, our co-worker are preparing, preparing, get the knowledge, get the knowledge, see in the future, open to the future. And so our director and our company provide that opportunity for our team. And so we do it because it's the future. And we have to 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 get the ability to adapt for a new change. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. In yeah, in that case, 
we were talking that US mine at the moment is, is using in Ecuador because then the oh. United States is launched that money, but not all over the world. This is the beginning. So we are we go, we would like to be one of the first cities in in Latin America uh, that trying to implement that one, maybe next year, maybe. Uh, but for that reason, we need to to learn uh, as soon as we can about that topic. Oh wow, that yes. that that is very interesting. I there, yeah. there are there are two cities in El Salvador that are learning about that topic. One is in the in the Libertad Department, and we are the other one city that we're interested in, in that topic. I recommend you. U for United, S for State, M I N T, U S Mint. Mind. Mint. Yes, I recommend okay. you. Okay. To learn a US little bit Mint. about. It. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Where are you located, Jose Carlos? Uh I live in a small city in Sonsonate. It's called San Julian. Ah. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. It. I know where it is. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Good to know. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So yeah, maybe in the future we're all gonna be paid by <laughs> U.S. Mint. <laughs> yes. Yes. It could be because mm -hmm. you know the inflation and another thing that happened with the currency, the infusive currency, right? Yeah. That's interesting. Wow. Very good, very good to 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 keep that in mind. Okay, guys and girls, well, uh, welcome to today's class. I'm glad to see um, many of you already connected. Uh, we will start with our attendance so that we don't waste much time. Um, Ana Lorena Lobato. Carlos Alberto Domínguez eh, Martínez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. <clears throat> Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Present. Right. Eh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Is it possible to uh see your face Edwin yes teacher I'm trying but I, I have problem with my connection oh no we uh, can see you now I'm great trying. thank Ready. you thank you Edwin okay uh okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix present okay very good uh Ulises Torres Torres present Excellent. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderon. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderon. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge, sorry, Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. José Bernardo López Montes. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Great. Jose uh, Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for being present. Okay. Um, Jose Atilo Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present Miss. Great. Present Miss. Yep, gotcha, okay. thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Great. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Great. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. 
present chair. Great. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Great. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Quinea. Present. Great, thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy Maricela. Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga Garribas. Present. Great. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Okay. All right, guys and girls, uh, thank you for connecting on time. Um, what we'll do... Oh, by the way, guys, um, I just wanted to mention something. Um, we've been having a certain... Uh, situation there with the with the exercises in exercise 2.8 which is the third conditional I've had many people tell me that they're not accept that the platform doesn't accept their answer as correct even though when I go to check your answers they are correct okay so um I, I'm not quite sure what exactly is the problem. To be very honest, I, I don't I, I don't understand what's going on. Uh, the answer that is in your um, the answer that is in your what's it called? Um, the answer that is in the platform is correct. Um, so I don't exactly understand what the problem is. Um, but if you are having problems with the platform, please let me know. Okay. That way I can, um, I can help you. Um, so please, please let me know if there's any issues that you're having with this, this exercise. Okay. Because, um, it's very likely that you do have the correct answer and we just have a situation there with the platform. Okay. So I, I, I can't actually um, report that problem because it doesn't seem to be a problem. Like the answers in the platform is correct. So I don't, I can't really report it because the answer in the platform is correct. So I, I just don't understand why some are accepting and some others aren't. So I don't know. So just letting you know that, okay? Um, any questions? No. <clears throat> okay. No teacher understood. All right. Okay, so in that case, we're going to start with our um, class. Can you guys see? my my screen you guys see my screen yes teacher. yeah yes, teacher. okay perfect okay so um this is something that we were looking at in last class okay uh which was um, how to use the past perfect with modals, okay? Um, some of the modals that exist are could, should, and would, 
And we also learned that with the mode with the wood, it's very similar to the third conditional that we learned before. The only difference is that it, it's not necessary to put the if clause um, in when you're using would have and the past participle, okay? But it's pretty much the same idea as, um, it, it's the same idea as, as the con third condition, okay? So we saw that could is used for a possibility, okay? Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make this smaller. I don't know what's going on. Second, guys. It's not responding. Just give me a moment. Okay, it's better. So, um, so could is used uh, for for a possibility in the past, okay, in the past. And, or it can also express an ability to do something in the past, but the person decided not to do it. So they had that ability in the past, but they decided not to do it. All right, does that make sense? Does that make sense, everybody? Yes, it checked. Yeah. Okay. And um, so we have the example here. Um, okay, so we have the example here. Uh, the manager could Let me think it's straighter. Um, okay, so we're using could. And then we always use have. Okay. Not remember I told you before, it's not has, it's not having, it's not had, it's have all the time. It's always gonna be had all the time, okay? And after that, we're gonna be using the past participle. So the manager could have prepared a contingency plan, but he decided to focus on something else. So it means that the manager had the ability to prepare the contingency plan, but they decided not to do it. All right, sounds good? Yes, it Yeah. Okay, then we have should. So we use should to make suggestions of the, in the past. Obviously, we can't change this, right? So we can't we we can make suggestions of what to do in the past, but because it's the past, we can't really change anything. We're just it's just saying, yeah, it was a suggestion for the past, or saying that you think it's a good idea to have done it in the past, but you didn't do it, or the person didn't do it. Okay, so an example of this would be should. The employee should have kept calm. Should have kept calm. So here we're using should, and again, we're using have, not had, not having, not has, not had. It's have, only have, have, okay? And then we use 
has participle kept. Okay, so the employer should have kept calm. All right. So it means that it was a good idea in the past for the employees to keep calm, but they didn't keep calm. It was a good idea to have done it, but they didn't keep calm. And finally, we have would, which we already talked about, is similar to the third conditional, but not necessary to have the if clause. And this shows a past willingness. Do we understand the word willingness? Mm, wishes? Hmm? Uh, sales wishes? Uh, Good intentions? Yeah, like willingness means that you have the disposition to do it, um, that you are available to do it, that you want to do it. Okay, so an example of this would be our public relations department would have done a better job but they didn't receive any report on the issue. So we always use would and then have, again, have, not has, not had, not having, okay? And then the past participle, which in this case is done. So you're saying that they had the willingness, the, 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 the our public uh, relations department had the willingness to do a better job. Yeah, but they didn't do it. And the reason why they didn't do it was because they didn't receive any report on the issue. Sounds good, everybody? Does that make sense? Questions, guys? It's, this is the time to ask if you have questions. No questions. No questions? No. Okay. Not so, for the moment. Not for the moment. Okay. So if there is no questions, what I want you to do is to do the exercises, <clears throat> which is, yeah. Excuse me. What is the meaning of um, sentence in Spanish? Which sentence? Um, Which sentence? La anterior. All of them? Yeah. Uh, no, del ejemplo. Previous yeah. paragraph. Yeah, the, all of the ones that we've talked about right here? Yes. Okay. Uh, the manager could have prepared a contingency plan, but he decided to focus on something else. What does that mean? What do you understand by that? What is the manager? The manager, what is the manager? El gerente. El gerente, exactly. Could have prepared. Could have prepared, what does that mean? El gerente. Debió haberse, debió is, haberse preparado. No. Pudo could, haber preparado. Pudo. pudo. Pudo, right? Because we're talking about could it comes from can. Pudo haber preparado el plan de contingencia. Good. Un, un plan de contingencia. But he decided oops. But he decided uh, to focus on something else. Okay. 
pero pero decidió enfocarse en algo más exactly uh -huh. pero decidió enfocarse en algo más good and the other one says the employees should have kept calm in Spanish the employees Los empleados deberían haber conservado la calma. Good. Los empleados deberían de haber conservado la calma. Exactly. Very good. Um, and our public relations department. What is that? Nuestro. Departamento de Relaciones Públicas. Good. Nuestro Departamento de Relaciones Públicas uh -huh. would have done a better job. Habría hecho una mejor trabajo. ¿Hm? Habría hecho un mejor trabajo. Podría haber hecho un mejor trabajo. No podría, pudiera, porque no. podría es could. Podría. Hubiera, hubiera hecho. Hubieran. Uh -huh. hubiera hecho, uh -huh. hubiera hecho un mejor trabajo, but they didn't receive any report on the issue. Pero, no Pero ellos no recibieron ningún, la, ningún, ningún problema reporte. en el reporte. Pero ellos no recibieron ningún informe sobre el tema. Ningún informe uh -huh. sobre el problema. Uh -huh. There you go. All right. Sounds good, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. So we are going to um, send you guys to breakout rooms to complete these exercises here, which says use a uh, complete sentence with past modals the verbs in, and hints in parentheses. So in parentheses, we have like create. That's the verb that we need to use. And this is for past possibility. Because it's a possibility, then we're going to be using could because it's a possibility. Okay. And remember, always use have, 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 and the past participle. All of them are past participles. Okay? Sounds good? Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you guys into breaker rooms. I already sent you in the in the group, in the WhatsApp group, I already sent those exercises. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. I'm opening the rooms right about now. Okay. Miss, we have a question. Yeah. It's a question. Uh, I was sharing with my partner that today I received a call from Inglés Corporativo mm -hmm. and then told me that we would be finished this model on Friday 20. So I get confusion about that. 
No, there was probably a um, there was probably a, a mix up. No, we are finishing on the twenty seventh. Okay. okay. Yeah, and so don't worry, it's on the twenty seventh. Because this is this is a module that it lasts for five weeks. Yes, I for that reason I was confused because. I say, but we have valid you started and we are finished. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Don't, but, don't worry. But, it was, it was uh, probably okay. just a, a mix up. Okay. But okay. no, we're, it's, we're finishing on the 27th. Okay. Okay. Because we, ha we are in the middle of the platform. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, <laughs> no, you're right. You're, you're absolutely right. No, it's okay. It's okay. You, we still have two more weeks. Well, a little, a week and a half left. Okay, yeah. thank okay. you. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, you guys can go ahead and continue, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The second one? <laughs> For me, I... the manager should, should help, should help him. Mm -hmm. You're having help, helping, yeah. You're having, yeah. Have what do you think? No, uh -huh. cool. have been. sure. Jose Carlos, what do you think? For me, sure. Su suggestion in the it's past, special, uh -huh, because it's Hello. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué pasó acá? Mm, I don't know. I I try to complete the the sentence. Sandra, eh, José Bernardo. Emerson? Hi, Miss. I'm trying to finish the, this exercise. So, are you trying to finish what? I'm trying to, to do the this exercise. Okay, so I need you to work together as a group. Okay, so the idea is not to work individually, but together with your group, because that's why I put you into groups. So talk about it, discuss it, okay? So, okay, this. all right, uh, Jose Bernardo, Sandra, are you there? Sandra, Jose Bernardo. ¿Se encuentran en clase? Al parecer no. Bueno, entonces, eh, ok. Good, good. Ok, entonces, um, José Salvador y Emerson pueden, pueden hablar, pueden discutirlo. Ok. That's okay. Ok, chicos, necesito escuchar conversación en este curso, en ese, en ese grupo.
Hola. Chicos. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ok. Discutan, hablen. Chicos. Chicos, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Hola. Sí, teacher. Ok, ¿Qué, ¿qué pasa? Porque no, no entiendo por qué no podemos participar en, en el... Debe, deben estar hablando. Sí, el compañero está compartiendo pantalla. Ok, que, perfecto, eh, pero igual, o sea, así como estoy hablando, también ustedes pueden hablar. Pueden discutir. Ok. Chicos, no entiendo qué pasa, que, o sea, estoy aquí para escuchar que hablen, que discutan, pero no, no entiendo qué pasa, cuéntenme. No, no lo hemos entendido. Tienen preguntas. Solo estoy puedo... las notas para entender esa parte, dice. Ok, entonces haga preguntas. Y haga preguntas no solo, o sea, a su compañero, para eso están, para trabajar juntos, decirle, mire, yo no entendí esto, ¿y tú qué entendiste? Ah, yo entendí tal cosa, o sea, es, es de hablar, es de discutir, o sea, estamos compartiendo con los compañeros. Ok, entonces si no entendimos algo, no hay problema. Lo que nosotros no entendimos, que sea el compañero se lo entendió. O a viceversa, tal vez ellos no entendieron algo y nosotros sí. Y por eso es de que los pongo en grupos para hablar. Porque de lo contrario, mejor los pongo solo a trabajar individual. Ok, voy a ir a, 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 a regresar los otros grupos, pero cuando regrese quiero escuchar que este grupo realmente esté trabajando junto. Ok. Porque eso se trata, que podamos trabajar juntos para ir mejorando todos juntos. ¿Ok? Ok. Is this correct? <laughs> mm. Yes, yeah, it works. Maybe, maybe. Mm, try. Uh, why? Mm -hmm. I try with. You try again, okay. Yeah. But in the second, you can put that. Maybe it's the apostrophe. I yeah, don't know it's the apostrophe. It. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's the... Hmm. Sometimes it's problem, but I don't know. Okay. You okay. can try if you want. Okay. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> you. No. Okay. Are you guys finished the exercises? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to go see the other groups and see and um, see if they finished, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Hello. 
Carlos Ernesto, Edwin Antonio, are you working together? I'm trying to work right now, teacher. You're you're working right now? Yes. Okay. And Carlos Ernesto too? Carlos Ernesto, you're working too? Okay, all right, I'm gonna go and check the other groups. Hello, Ricardo and Ana Lorena, Wendy. Are you guys there? Are you there or not there? No? I guess you're not there. Okay. Um, in the second, in the uh, sentences number two, you use, in this case, should have, yes, I don't know if uh, that the manager should have been honest with the employees about the product recalls. Recalls. E and in the number three, the past willingness you use will have the sentences. The sentences is the president will have requested for a press conference. Okay. It's not Collins. No. No. Because uh, you use the past. Yes. Right. Yes. Talk about. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that is, is that is that the different form? <laughs> Yeah, this is the suggestion uh, that you suggestion from the past. All right, can we check the answers, guys, or are you still working on it? Can we check the answers? Hi. Hello, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. Turn off the microphone. <laughs> And for example, in the in the it's second a, sentences, in another side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so are you are you guys finished, or do you need more time? Um, I need a uh, two minutes. Two minutes. Yes. Okay. Please. All right. Okay. Two minutes. Thank it is. You. Okay. In the number. Four is the suggestion past you use Hello Hello Miss What happened? Oh. We finished the exercise. Yeah. So uh, oh. we waited to return. You you finished all of them? Yes. And you and you did it together as a group? Yes, we did, however, not. Okay, wonderful. Okay, great.
Um, I will see you in the main room in a moment then. Okay, miss. I wait. Compare have a problem. Uh, I, I remember someone shared in the in the WhatsApp group. Yes, but I uh, but I, but I don't get the sample. Okay. Okay. So this is the exercise that I was telling you guys about. That it's apparently there's a um I guess like a problem um accepting the answers. So the answer that is in the platform is correct. Um, but for some reason, the answers that you guys are putting in are, is not ex being accepted. So um, who's having problems with this? Osman. Who, who, Osman, okay. Okay, just a second, Osman. Just give me one I'm sorry, moment. Sorry, so far, uh, I, uh, I'm as... Okay, so Osman, um, okay, so technically speaking, um, what we can do tomorrow, Osman, we have a session with you, the one-on-one -on -one session. So if we want, we can we can look at that tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay teacher. During, during our one-on-one -on -one session, we I can help you out with that one. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, after the class yeah the one-on-one -on -one yeah. session that we have we have it scheduled for tomorrow during the class after the class the one-on-one -on -one ah, okay. oh, yeah the one-on-one -on -one okay. session is the ones that we have after the class so um after the class you can stay and then i will help you individually to oh, okay, like, okay. to 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 okay. look at those sentences okay please please touch it all teacher. right yeah, no problem, okay. no problem. All right, I'm going to return you back to the main room, okay? So see you in a bit. Okay. Okay, guys, um, so we're going to be checking the answers um, to this. You guys can see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, good. Um, so we'll start with the, well, the first one has been written for you. The crisis management team could have created a plan to reduce the impact of, cri on, of crisis on the company finances but they were too busy with the PR scandal, the path possibility. Now here, we're talk where you're gonna be using the verb to be, and this is the suggestion in the past. So what could we write? The manager. You'll help me. Remember, suggestion in the past. Should, yes. Should have been. Should have been. been. Yes. Should have been honest with the employees about the product uh, product recalls. All right. Any questions so far? No, teacher. I agree. Okay. Good. All right, stop me if you're not understanding something, okay? Next, number three, the president, blank, blank, 
for a press conference, but there was no time for the paperwork. So this is, we're gonna be using the verb request. That's gonna be in the past participle and where it's the past willingness. So, what are you gonna say? The president? Will have would requested. Would have? Requested. Good, requested. Requested, request is a, is a regular verb. So we can just Okay, so would have requested for a press conference, but there was no time for the paperwork. The employees, blank, blank, the deal, but they prefer to go on strike. So we're going to be using the past participle of take. They and, can. Uh, it's a suggestion in the past. So we say, should have, have, have taken. Have taken. Excellent, there you go. Should have taken. The employees should have taken the deal, but they prefer to go on strike. Next, number five, when the earthquake hit the suppliers. Who have used who? Yeah, so cool. we're using, using is this a past possibility? And we're using the past participle of use. So it, it would be could cool. have used. Have used. Have used. And use is, is a regular verb, so it's going to be used. Yeah. Okay. And the last one, the crisis, blah, 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 avoided with good planning. Cool. We're going to be using cool. the past participle of be, and it's a past possibility. So we're going to could say, could have been, could have been, could have been, could have been avoided with good planning. Any questions so far? No. <clears throat> no? No, it's clear. It's all clear? Now, yes. Okay. So, nothing you want to ask about? About this topic, no, teacher, but I have a question about the midterm. I don't know if you can help me now or we wait just to the end. Yeah, no, um, that's fine. We can... We can do that before we start on our next topic. We can do that. But uh, but before anything, I just want to make sure that nobody has any questions about this exercise. I mean, it's okay. Everybody, it's okay for everybody? It's okay, teacher. Yeah? It's okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. All right, perfect. Um, let me stop sharing. And you said you have problems in the midterm. Yes, in the part number three in the midterm. Uh, the first question, we have to choose between that, who, or maybe both are correct. But the first one said uh, the specialist in blank, you recommended were excellent. Okay, just give yeah. me a second before, before I need to find it. So just give me a moment. You said that this is oh, okay. the, the midterm. If... Um and I can share my screen if you want. No, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm just trying to I'm trying to find it online so that I, I can okay. see the answers. Uh so this is the midterm. What part? Uh part three, I guess. Part the first three. question is the specialist. Okay, just give me a moment. Let's start with the specialist. Part three or part four, I'm not sure. Um, we have to choose between oh, that. Okay, part four. Four, part, part four. Okay. But, okay, sorry. So the first question, the specialist. Uh, blank space, and you recommended what excellent. 
So for me, when we say the, spe the specialist, we are talking about uh, in a person. So we can uh, use that or who because it's a person. But I select both are correct, but it's not the right cor the right answer. So that appears that the correct answer, and I'm not sure why. So I need to help me with that. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, so your the problem that you're having. Okay, so it says um. Yeah. Okay, so you you chose. What for answer? For me, for me, it means both are correct. For you, both are because correct. Because the specialist for me is a person, so we can use that or who, but when I press send, uh, appears that bad answer. So then I I choose that and appears like a right correct, but for me it's not the correct answer. But I need your help to make me understand the, the answer. Why just I, we can just, why we have to use that, only that. Actually, um, to be completely honest, it, you are right, Carlos. You are actually right. Um, you can use both. And I'll report that um, answer in the, the midterm. I'll report it okay. because it should, it actually should be both. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. And thank you for calling my attention to that exercise so guys please call my attention to to exercises where they're not uh when you feel that there's something not right okay because that way i can report them but if i don't know about them i can't report it and you might be like thinking why you know i don't understand this topic and you do understand it it's just that maybe there's a there's a typo or some sort of remember you know we're human beings right so um in the platform there could be you know honest you know just regular mistakes so it's okay it's all right okay 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 uh do you have any other questions guys before we continue no Okay, no. so in that case, um, let's, um, um, okay, let's continue with the next part. Uh, please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I'm able to see it. Okay, good. So we're going to, it says here, number the following key actions to consider when dealing with a crisis in order of importance. So one is going to be the most important. Five is going to be the least important. Okay. And um, we're going to discuss then your choices with a partner. So what do you think would be the most important thing in dealing with a crisis actually it shouldn't be um it shouldn't be five it should be actually six because we have six different um answers there okay so what's number one number two number three number four number five number six okay so individually i want you to choose what do you think in your personal opinion are the key actions um to take when dealing with a crisis. Okay. So right now, I want you to do this. Mm -hmm. 
If you have questions about the vocabulary, you can ask me too. It's okay, teacher. Okay, are you guys ready? I believe. Yes, teacher. Yeah, everybody's ready? Any more time? You guys need more time? Did you have a surprise in everything? I don't know. No? Now, to be honest, teacher, uh, I understand the whole sentence, <laughs> but I can put it in order. It's, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just whatever you think is more important. <laughs> but for me, the, the last one could be don't forget about social media. Me too, me too, Carlos. Me too. <laughs> okay. For okay. me, because I, I don't me. want checking my Facebook, or my Instagram, something like that in the middle of the crisis. Teacher, for me, the... Okay, don't, song... don't, don't, hold on, hold on. I know you guys have a lot to say, but I want you to, I want you to save it for your groups, okay? So um, I'm going to put you back into your groups and I want you to discuss this, okay? So yes, you can talk about uh, what you think would be like the least, right? Like the one that you would never do that in the middle of a crisis, okay? All right? Okay. Yes. Okay, so we understand what we're going to be doing? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Anderson. So I'm going to be um, sharing in the group um, um, okay, so I'm sending in the group and um, I'm putting you guys back in into your same group that you were before. Um, if there's somebody that, um, if, if for whatever reason you end up in a group where you're like, you're like the only one in the group, please let me know so I can change you from groups, okay? 
So here we go. I'm gonna open up the rooms right now. Um, Kevin and Ulysses, are you going to be participating? Could be. Ulysses, you can you can participate. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I will send you right now to the group. Give me a second. Um, okay. Ana Lorena, you cannot get into a group? Yes, teacher, but uh, the group that you sent me mm -hmm. don't answer okay. anything. Got it. Okay, let's uh, put you somewhere else then. Um, okay, um, Emerson, are you there? Emerson? Okay, so, and um, okay, Let's see. Okay, here we go, taking you to another group. Hello, Edwin. Hi, teacher. Uh, can I work so with somebody else? Yeah, well, right now you don't have anybody else to work with, so I'll definitely have to move you. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, I'm sending you right now. Thank you. I think that's fine. Uh, we, are, we, are, uh, we have a real, real crisis here. To be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a uh, good point. And number three. For me, it's control the flow and accuracy of information. The pressure I mean, if we will communicate, for example, to customers, suppliers, employees, I will tell about uh, only accuracy information, um, coverage information. I mean, let's say, oh, it is a crisis, uh, um, a lot of information, so. For me, this is a tier one. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Jorge, what do you think about the uh, number three? Are you agree with us or not? Sorry, I, I, I have a little problem here in my house. Uh, I don't listen. Okay, don't worry. Um can, can you can you repeat please? Um do you agree with us is number three is the um, 
control the flow and the control follower and yeah, quality of information. Because uh, for us, number one uh, could be 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 accountable be for your project. action, yes. and number two, be honest. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And number three, uh, yes. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Control okay. the flow and accuracy. Okay. And number four. Uh, have legal advice. legal advice. Yes. And the last, uh, don't forget about social media. <laughs> no, 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 no. Communicate with customer and suppliers. The last one for me is don't forget about social media. Yeah, the last one. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. but uh, means the communicate with customers and suppliers. Yes, that's important as well. This is number five. Five, uh huh, and number okay. number four have legal advice. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I agree. You, Sifrido, I agree. <laughs> okay, I agree with that. And Hosman, um, I don't know if you if he, he is there. Postman, Postman, are you there? No, I think not. Okay, so you guys are finished. Yes. Yes, it's okay. Perfect. I'm gonna go and see the other groups as well. Okay. 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 Ya, yeah, regamos, la regamos, ya. Yeah. Of course. Yes. That's my opinion because that is personal, right? Yes, 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 we know. Okay. Which one is number two in, in this case? Uh, we have two different opinions. No. Right, number two, be honest. Okay, for in this. Oosh. One. A lot of warning, so I had to delete all my videos. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You were in a, in a trouble with social media. <laughs> so that was not a good. But in YouTube or where? In YouTube? YouTube. Yes, uh, in YouTube. Yeah. Yes, in YouTube. Yeah, and I that... think that the policy, they are very strict with the the policy to, or the the policy, the the the, the politics, the la politica, the politics <laughs> that, that they have and use the content or other. Yes. Hmm. yes. But I, I don't get profits about that, but but they always send me some a lot of warnings about that. So mm. no, <laughs> I, yeah, I, just I just it. warning. But if imagine that if you will be a good or a a famous yes. <laughs> social so media, I I, I was a, a young a young I didn't know about the life, <laughs> so I put the whole truth. 
I put my name, I put the, my direction. I, oh my God. <laughs> I put my email, everything was there. Oh, so no. your address. <laughs> yes, everything, no. everything. So they try, oh if they God. try to find me, they will do it so fast because I put all. Yeah, all my I imagine there. you you can get that yes. trouble. So for that. that reason, I decide to delete it and pray to God they don't they don't do anything else. Nelson, is it the reason that I decide to job to take another job? <laughs> <laughs> Carlos said. Yes, for that for that reason I went to the university. It's a truth. Yeah, <laughs> it's a truth that we are. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, we decide to study another career yeah. because the TikToker we don't. <laughs> it's yeah. not for me. Yeah. Yes, I get a lot of problem, legal problems. <laughs> legal problem. Yeah. Is it the reason that we did we, we choose that? Yeah, um, the last one. Don't forget about social Don't media. Forget, really, that, for that reason, is my last choice. Yeah, it's me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Finish. Perfect. All right. We'll see each other in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, so um, let's talk about this. Um, okay, remember, there's no right or wrong answers. It's just whatever your opinions are. But whatever you, you say, um, please try to justify it. Why did you think that that is more important or least important? Okay, like I said, there's no right or wrong answers. Okay, so what do you think is number one? What would be the most important from all of these? What to do in a crisis? In my personal opinion, T. Sherman. Uh, be honest, never lie in time of crisis. Okay, be honest, never, never lie in times of in times of crisis. Yes, you this agree. Is my opinion. <clears throat> to be honest, teacher, in our group, we didn't get an agreement, but oh, <laughs> and that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <that's> good. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. I mean, we're we're all different, right? And then, like I said, there's no right or wrong answers. This is whatever you guys think. What 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 you think is the best answer? In my case, it's the same teacher. For me, it, the number one is be honest, never lie in times, because I think we need to accept when there is a crisis. Okay. Okay. Everybody, everybody is, is agrees with that. That's the most important. I believe is be accountable for your actions. Assume responsibility. Okay. All right. So how about if we take a vote? How many people believe this would be number one? Be accountable for your actions. Assume responsibility. Me, uh, you can Me. you can raise your hand in your virtual hand, okay? So okay. we'll count we'll count virtual hands. Okay. <laughs> okay, me. <laughs> so we have two people so far. Three people. Only only the honest. Yeah, the first one. <laughs> Only three people? Okay, 
So you can take down your hands. How many people would say um, that the most important is be honest, never lie in times of crisis? Put up your hand, your virtual hand. Two people. Only two people. What happened to the other people? <laughs> so you, you guys don't agree with neither one of them? They are sleeping. <laughs> I think so. They are not here. <laughs> Sometimes I think the same. <laughs> okay. That is democracy. Don't worry. Even in the election, understand you. there are a lot of people able to vote, but little percent vote. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so I. Okay, so Mirna, you chose also the second one. So it's a tie. Um, so I need I need someone to untie. I mean, there are enough people here to untie it. What do you think? You teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, if you're going to ask my opinion, I would probably... No, I, no, I, why? I, I agree. <laughs> no, no, no. I agree um, that both of them are very important. But if I have to choose between the two, I would probably say this one. For me, it would be be accountable for your actions, assume responsibility. Because I think that if we assume responsibility if we are able to say okay yes we i made a mistake right or you know if, if we're able to assume responsibility then knowing what to do is much easier um and also you can't be honest if you're first not honest with yourself you can't be honest with other people Yes. Unless first you're honest with yourself. So first you have to assume responsibility and say, yes, I made a mistake. You know, I'm responsible for this. Then I can be honest with other people. Does that make sense? Yes. So that's my reasoning, at least. I mean, like I said before, there's no right or wrong answers. But just because yeah. I had to, I had to break the tie. Yeah, me too, teacher, because yes. when we said, yes, we have some mistake, <clears throat> after all, we know that we have to look for a solution, right? Mm -hmm. However, in this step, we look for, we say that it's the fault for all the other co-workers. Mm -hmm. And in, in the second place, we have to be honest. We say, yes, I am. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I am here. Exactly. Yeah, for that reason... Mm -hmm. For me, yeah. be accountable is the first one and be honest is the second. Yes, yes. I, yeah, I agree. So definitely first, I, I personally, I would say take responsibility for yourself, right? For whatever, like assume the responsibility and say, yes, I am part of this even even if you didn't do it personally, but because you're a part of like like the company, you're part of the team somehow you're you still need to have you need to take responsibility for it so once we take responsibility now we can be honest with other people yes okay so yes definitely no i would say that's number two teacher. yeah for me teacher is they are very close they are mm -hmm. yeah but because if you are honest you can assume the responsibility yeah yeah, yeah, I agree. I think that's very close, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answers. It's just okay. your opinions. Mm -hmm. Somebody no, I was thinking, teacher. Yes. It, it, why, it's, we imagine an extreme condition, like uh, we are a serial killer and the police cut you. So <laughs> be, uh, be accountable for your action. I, I don't think so. it's the best idea. Or be honest, never lie. <laughs> <laughs> maybe have legal advice I think I, I don't know <laughs> depends the situation, depends on the situation. Uh, wow that's um, so <laughs> I have never imagined like that 
Yeah, uh, okay. Just make it funny, man. <laughs> a funny moment. I don't know. I, 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 I wouldn't know how to, what to tell you. <laughs> I've never been in that situation. <laughs> okay. Me either, but we don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for the laugh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. All right. Let's go for number three. What do you think? <clears throat> like I said, no right or wrong answer. You can just tell me whatever you think. My opinion, teacher, I would uh, control the flow and accuracy of information. Yes, Contro me too. Control the flow and accuracy of information? Yes. Okay. All right. Everybody agrees? Yeah? Okay. Not what? No? Depends the situation. Yes. <laughs> For me, have legal advice and if... communication experts mm -hmm. at hand. So, um, I agree with Nelson. Yes, have Carlos Drive is asked to another to another way to see the the situations. Another extreme condition. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. So don't. So guys, if you ever get caught by the police because. They are accusing you of being a serial killer. You know, get first legal advice. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So let's 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 vote again. Who thinks this one is number three? Control the flow and accuracy of information. You can vote for number three. Be here. Put up your hand. Your virtual hand. Only one? Hmm, okay. Uh, what about the other one? Have legal advice and communications experts at hand. Okay. All right, definitely that one's the winner. Okay. Okay, great. Perfect. Thank you guys. So should we say that this is number four then? Control Yes. The... Yeah? yeah? Did everybody yeah. agree that would be number four? With the advice yeah. of the experts, yeah. uh, we could control the flow. Okay. So first we get the advice from the legal experts and then we can, we're able to control the flow and accuracy of information. Okay. Next. Communicate with customers. Yeah, communicate. You agree? Yeah, totally. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Communicate with uh, customers and suppliers. Carlos said the last. <laughs> okay. And I think, yeah, I think that's. Don't forget about social media. Yeah. Okay. Picture. Do you guys understand what is meant by social media? Like, I mean, I mean, not what I've spent my, I mean, do you understand what this means? Don't forget about social media. Does that make sense for you guys? Uh, to communicate the situation for the customers, for example. Uh, well, actually, this this would be with the customers. Maybe press press conference. Right, exactly. Oh, okay. So social media See the news. Exactly. So basically, um, you have to after you talk to your customers and suppliers and explain the situation and apologize, blah blah blah. You got to make sure that because you know that this is going to get on social media. Right, whatever the crisis is, um, if it's you know, if we're talking about uh, a company, it's going to get on social media, and so you got to make sure that now you give the right information 
to people on social media. So um, not that you're going to be like, oh, you know, let's let's look at Instagram, let's look at TikTok. It's not that. It's it's actually communicating with um, on, on the social media what the crisis was and what was what was the solution that was that was taken right what what steps were taken to make the solution so that we can also um let other people know that the situation is under control does that make sense yes for that yeah. reason i think is the last one because you don't make a press conference if you don't know what what would you say mm -hmm. <laughs> or what happened or what what was the cri the crisis mm -hmm. yeah yeah exactly mm -hmm. and and without having an actual plan of action because if you go to like um on a press conference and and they ask you they're going to ask you lots of questions and they're going to ask you about a solution and if you are like we don't know we're still thinking about it then you're going to no comments yeah no comments yeah it, so you're going to look unprepared and people are not going to take you seriously right yeah so definitely okay sounds good everybody so far so good <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Now, assume that your company was involved in the crisis below. Take turns responding to this question. What would you have done as a manager? So imagining that you are the manager of this company in these situations, what would you do? Okay, first situation is dissatisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering with the product of the company or the products of the company. The video goes viral and customers are outraged. Okay, so imagine you're working at this company, they're making products, and the employees, they tape themselves tampering. Remember we talked about tampering yesterday, right? Which is to manipulate in a in a bad way. To like a handle. Yeah, yeah, handle to make, like to cause damage. Okay. All right, so that's the first situation. Is that pretty clear, This that situation? Yeah? Okay, next situation. A new laptop model has been released into the market. A few days later, it is discovered that the new model has a flaw, which makes its battery explode or catch fire while charging. Okay, so imagine you are the manager of this company that has made this uh, battery. And we find out that it's basically explosive. Okay. So far, so good. We understand that situation too. Yeah. Yes. Okay. One of your employees from a branch store had to defend himself against an aggressive customer. But social media is reporting that the issue, the issue as a case of aggression, so aggressive employee attacking a cus, a consumer. So they're basically doing it the other way around, right? So, um, really, it was the customer who was aggressive, but on social media, it seems like the employee was the one that was aggressive against the customer, or against the consumer. Same thing. Okay, we understand that. Yeah. Okay, and the last one is a hurricane has made it impossible for your employees to get to the com to the company facilities. Okay, so there's a hurricane, and people basically can't get to work. Do we understand that situation too?
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, okay. So what I'm going to get you to do now, we're going to work, we're not going to work in pairs. Um, I'll get you to work in small groups, probably groups of like three. And you can discuss what you would do as a manager. Okay. Okay, um, so I sent it in the group. Um, I'm going to recreate groups, guys. Okay. If there is somebody that is in a room that there are not enough participants, um, that people are not participating for whatever reason, please go ahead and um, tell, tell me about it so that I can move you to another group, okay? Here we go, we're opening the groups. Mm. Okay, the activity. The number one. Hello, Rafael. Rafael Alexander, Carlos, Ernesto, Carlos Alberto. Are you guys there? Yes, teacher. I hear. Okay. Um, what about the others? Carlos Ernesto. Well, I yeah. Vengo recién llegando a la clase, así que. Mm, Por eso okay. estoy como dice, ¿no? Ok. Vale, solo quiero saber, Carlos Ernesto, Carlos Alberto, ¿están ustedes ahí? Ok. Vale, entonces lo voy a cambiar a otro grupo, Rafael, ¿ok? ¿Y Rafael? Por mí está bien, teacher, pero como le digo, ahorita vengo llegando, todavía no, no, no me conecto bien con la clase, o sea, o solo sea, vi que estaba platicando. ¿Va a participar o no? Mm, no creo, teacher, como para escucharlo, sí, pero... No, pues sí, o sea, eh, por eso uh -huh. lo, lo, lo puedo cambiar de grupo, porque aquí obviamente no van a, no están y, y no van a participar, entonces por eso quiero saber, ¿lo puedo cambiar? Okay. Okay, perfect. Cool. Here we go then. For clarify this problem, maybe. Okay. But <laughs> and hello. Okay, number four say a hurricane has made it almost impossible for you. <laughs> oh, Sifrido, but you you say uh, uh, the manager get meeting only with the employees. Yeah, basically. I, yes, it's a good idea. I, Hello, Jorge Antonio, Mauricio Antonio. Hello, teacher. I think that I be alone. Yeah, Mauricio and Sandra are not here. Mm, 
know, really. Mm. I hear. Oh. I, I, I work in the, the fear. Uh, in the fear part of. Okay. And you heard her? I'm here. Uh -huh. Okay, so you guys can talk, I okay? Think, I think. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. I think working in the field one, for me, uh, uh, I would have done is applicable disciplinary rule to those employees because it is no way to the the mon the most the most to demonstrate your dissatisfaction by fighting them without compensation for me for him. Uh, Yo lo mando la chingada. <laughs> no, yes, because but uh, for me, um, yes, is 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 you need a uh, take a different action, but uh, uh, also you need to explain for your customers. And uh, you need to, I don't know, uh, communicate with uh, they and also eliminate this video uh, found where uh, the employees release the video, eliminate for this platform, try to explain for the customer and then uh, obviously uh, you need to uh, retire the the employees for the company, and to try and, and, uh -huh. and you need to to try to explain for the not only the clients. Uh, you explain a uh, uh, try to uh, make a um, public uh, uh, notification or notice. Or, or for this video, what is the the real cause for uh, the employees release the video? Mm. Okay. Obviously, uh, you need the uh, you need. You need a, a, a dismiss for these employees, but uh, also you you need to try to explain for the customer what is the reason or what is the the real situation with they and eliminate or re retire the the video because is a uh, very every time uh, all the time. Yeah, the results. Yeah, they can see, replace the whole, the whole pressure. You see the 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 CEO change, uh, five years, for example. The people, uh, who are who are, who is uh all in 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 the chart in in the in the, the position chart, oh. is very good. They are. Uh, they don't obey uh, orders. Uh, sharks, in the tank. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bite each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. Pass to the second one. A new laptop model has been released into the market. A few days later, it is discovered that the new model has a flag which makes its battery explode or catch fire while charging. Mm -hmm. So, what can we do as manager in this situation? 
try to recover the whole computers. The customer don't pay the send it back to the to the store and give them a new model of computer completely they, they free the, without the, paying more money. You need you need um retire the computer of the stock. Yeah, yes. you need to yeah. to to uh to have to uh, do a recall product mm -hmm. product recall okay. sorry product recall yes to avoid uh problems with the customers or yeah, incidents problems. incidents yeah maybe a zoo so maybe a zoo to the company yes <laughs> <Yeah>. for example <laughs> uh, for example in my case caterpillar uh uh <laughs> send uh, uh emails when the some parts have a failure mm -hmm. and, okay. and 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 for example i am a uh, a dealer of caterpillar mm -hmm. and i send the the parts with a failure to to the factory mm -hmm. and they uh Natural disaster, yeah, it's a situation that you don't have any control. I think that because it's it's a hurricane, hurricane, mm -hmm. and and the weather or the yeah, the situation is not is not in your hands, or you you, you can lose the control with your employees or. In the, in this case, is a it if it's possible, it's a good idea. Uh, that Carlos says maybe, uh, work uh -huh. from to the house, mm -hmm. but if it's not possible, <laughs> maybe close the company during mm -hmm. the, the hurricane. hurricane. Yes, yeah. because yeah. it's dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, or maybe when they they have another they come back the facility. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's not in your hands. It's the weather or the weather situation is not your in your hands. Just I think that as a manager we have to do comprehension comprehension at that situation that you are living. Yes. Because it's is a All right, guys, so let's uh, talk about these options that we have here. So dissatisfied employees release the video themselves tampering with the products of the company. The video goes viral and customers are outraged. How would you um, solve this problem or deal with it? Mm -hmm. How would you deal with it? What would you do if you were the manager? I would have them. It's having the disciplinary rule to those employees because it is not a way to demonstrate your dissatisfaction okay. by fighting them without compensation. Okay. All right. So you'd fire them without compensation. 
Okay. All right. Fair Maybe enough. DJ put me. Sure. Yeah, it's fine. All right. A new laptop model has been released into the market. A few days later, I discovered that the new model has a flaw which makes its battery explode or catch fire while charging. What would you do? How would you manage the situation? Make a product recall without product. paying to the customers and send a new model without any cost additional to the customer. Okay. As compensation. All right. Anything else? Uh, the same teacher. We are agree me. with Carlos. Yeah. Okay. Product recall. <clears throat> Product recall. Okay. Next, what for are the... Me, Sorry. Yes. For me, retire the product because it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. okay. So you... Okay. So you would discontinue it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. One of the employees from a branch, a store, had to defend himself against an aggressive customer. But social media is reporting that the issue as a case of aggressive employee attacking a customer, a consumer. How would you deal with it? It's difficult not to defend mm -hmm. yourself when attacked. Mm -hmm. But we must investigate with the decay aggressive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Any other way that you would handle it? Okay. All right, next one. A hurricane has made it impossible for employees to get to the company's facility. How would you handle that situation? Mm hmm Come on, guys. What would you do? You're the you're the manager. You have you have to find a solution. And um, if it is the possibility to work at home, do it. Um, in other ways, um, is maybe a big company and maybe use a different site when the hurricane don't make any disaster. Okay. So. But, Try to care the the employees in this site. Don't travel to the to the company. Okay. Don't need to travel to the company. Okay. Anything else? Okay. All right. We're gonna stop there for today, <clears throat> and we're just gonna take attendance. So please listen for your name. Ana Lorena Lovato Rayana. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Uh, remember, make sure I, I need you guys to to actually open up your microphone and say in here because that's the only way we can uh, take the attendance. Okay. Um, acuérdense que, que Insafor revisa los videos y ellos no pueden leer chats, así que si, si está, tiene que abrir su micrófono. So, uh, Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Mauricio Menjiver Caballero. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present, teacher. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón.
Ileana Rebeca Carbio Calderón. Um, Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. José Bernardo, I'm oh, sorry, uh, José Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Thank you. Um, José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Uh, Juan, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present miss. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Kevin. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, Mayra Cecilia Peña de, de Aparicio. Mayra. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, so today we have the one-on-one -on -one session, Nelson, so you can stay behind. Okay. Um, okay. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez. Guinea. Present. Thank you. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga. Rivas. Present. Thank you. Um, Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Armanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Yes, Amanda, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, Eduardo en, Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Eduardo Antonio. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. So take care and um, have a wonderful night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Can you mention it? Thank you, sir. Wendy. Wendy, no la mencioné? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Wendy Marisela Ramirez Guevara. Present. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have a good night, Wendy. Good night, teacher. Eh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Hello, teacher. Hi. Teacher, está, he estado toda la clase, pero estaba haciendo una tarea adicional aquí. Pero sí estuve escuchando toda la clase. Ah, oh, okay. Perfect. Wonderful. Any other questions that you have? Es que sí le, le, no le pude contestar cuando pasó el listo, teacher, pero sí estaba pendiente, ¿verdad? Solo okay. quería confirmarle. Perfecto, gracias. Sí, necesitamos bueno. que, que eh, escuchar Um, que encienda la cámara y escucharte que diga present porque como les explicaba eh, se fue revisa los videos pero no está leyendo chats entonces eh, es, es, es para que quede grabado en, en, la, en el video de que usted estuvo en la clase ok, okay teacher. perfecto okay. Bye, pues. bueno gracias ok feliz noche, feliz noche. Bye, Nelson. Bye, Carlos. Good night. Good night. Okay, Nelson, how are you? I'm exhausted, teacher. <laughs> It was okay. a, a bad day today. Oh, I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Okay, okay. Um, well, the good thing is that it's over. It's So yeah. yeah, um, is this like normally your 
it does this ha is this happen like like on Wednesdays usually or is this today that was an abnormal day? Yes. Yes, um, all of my days um, are stressful. <laughs> mm. Okay. And today I went to the office. Uh, a lot of traffic <laughs> mm -hmm. in the morning. Uh, a lot of uh, things to do <laughs> mm -hmm. all of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, another day. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do this uh, quick so that you don't have to, so that you can um, go and rest. Um, how are you doing with the platform? Do you have any questions? Anything I can help you with, Nelson? Uh, the platform, I almost uh, do the unit form. Mm -hmm. I almost end, sorry. Oh. The, the unit form. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the problems in the platform, well, <laughs> Uh, I know the problems, but it makes um confused in me, <laughs> make me headache in some cases because I try, I try, I try, and an answer another, another, and the the answer is bad, bad, bad. Okay, so when that happens, Nelson, write in the chat. Yeah, um, I I forget uh, the this 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 advice yours. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. That's why I'm here to help you, right? Um. So, yeah. If when that happens, just write in the chat, and um, I I can't promise that I will immediately answer, but I will try to answer. And if may, maybe not like. It will be another another classmate that might answer, um, and that way it'll be easier for you to to understand what's the problem, right? Um, and send per preferably do two things: send the exercise, like the exact exercise, yeah. like uh -huh. if it's like two point eight, you know exactly which yeah, one it is. I got it. And uh, send a um a screenshot of your answer okay and okay, if to, it, to check that mm -hmm. to check yeah mm -hmm. yeah and like and to see if exactly if the, what what is your answer so i can maybe detect oh yeah you you forgot to write this or um you, you know, forget the, the the punctuation yeah. the apostrophe yeah. like that yeah okay. or sometimes it's a spelling like sometimes it's like a letter changes the whole thing you know, yeah. so, yeah. Or even like the type of punctuation, like sometimes um, huh. some students put like a, a an apostrophe, but it's not that a apostrophe, it needs it to be another apostrophe, you know? So yeah, I can, I can detect those things and say, oh, you need, this is the problem is this, right? So I can, I can see if, how I can help you. And sometimes like we just discovered in the class, a, sometimes, there is a problem in the answer in the platform and that way I can, I can report it. Okay. So, okay. So, yeah. So don't, don't get so frustrated. Like instead of actually going and doing it over and over and over <laughs> again, yeah, you know, yeah it, it might, it might be, you, you will have, you will be able to save energy that way. Okay. 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 Teacher thank you yeah okay do you have any other questions anything in particular mm -hmm. i can help you with could be the topic the last topic uh, for me was it was uh, complicated the third conditional <laughs> mm. yeah i never uh, see, saw, so sorry, see. I never saw this uh, topic for me. For I, for me, it, it was new. 
I have never seen. Yeah, you you've never seen it. Yeah, um, yeah, I have said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, when it's a new topic, it's understandable that it's going to be a, a little bit different, and and it takes time to get used to it. But do you understand the concept, Nelson? Like, yeah, the concept. Yes, it could be. Mm, practice yeah all always is practice mm -hmm. uh, but mm, I come I this topic mm, make me confused mm -hmm. with um, another's conditional <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah. What you know? What I can do, I you know, because I've I've heard this quite a bit, uh, from not only from you but from other uh, participants, I can kind of just like do, probably a quick review of the conditionals, so that because there's there's actually four conditionals, and yeah. <laughs> there's four conditionals and there are mixed conditionals too, but we won't worry about the mixed conditionals we'll just worry about the 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 main four and so what i can do is like do a, like a quick review um so that you guys can understand it a little bit better okay okay uh, yeah i need <laughs> i need this this um, explication again mm -hmm. because uh, the, uh, the conditionals uh, for me is an important topic mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and you're right. It is, and and it's actually quite the the conditionals is something that we use quite often, uh, uh, and especially we you know conditionals in the past are very very common because we like we we like to always give our opinions of what could have been different in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do that a lot, right? So <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll we'll do a little review about that, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm glad to hear uh, this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, is there anything else I can help you with, Nelson? Um, no, no, it's okay. All of be fine. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. okay. Okay, so the class is all right. It's going at a good pace. You are understanding it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Really, yes. I understand all of the class. In some cases, uh, <laughs> I have to connect uh, to my work and I turn off the camera, the microphone. And it's complicated for me yeah. in some weeks. Right. Yeah, it's but okay. I try to participate a lot in the class. Good. But yeah. In some cases, it's not. Uh, I'm not able to. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Um. Yeah. The important thing is that you try your best, right? And, um. Remember that the classes are recorded and they yeah. are put on the platform so that you can watch it, uh, whenever you need it. Whether it's because you were not in class, or because you need a review they're there for you okay okay so yeah it's a, both and you you know how to find them right you know how to find the classes yes yes okay good good and if uh for whatever reason they are not in the platform they're definitely going to be on youtube so you can just go to the the, the youtube playlist and you will find them there because they they're first in the in the youtube platform and then they are put in the in our online platform. Ah, okay. Okay, so you will you will find it quicker on YouTube. Okay, thank okay. you, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so take care, Nelson, and um, I have I hope you have a nice rest. You deserve <laughs> it after a long day. Thank you. Have a good night too. <laughs> thank you. See All you right. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.